Well, for those fighting to make a name for themselves in the airline industry, it, it can be tough. It's, it's very hard when you want to compete against some of those bigger airlines. Well, naturally, there have been plenty of duds over the years. News 10's Jeff Marr joins us now with a list of the world's worst airline names. You know, you try to set yourself apart from the rest, set yourself apart from the names that we're all familiar with, Continental, United, JetBlue, and you come up with uh, some interesting versions. This list was put together by Condé Nast Traveler. It's a magazine that rates hotels and airlines. So let's just go through the list at number one. And maybe you are familiar with some of these. No, Air. no, no. It is a Hungarian-based <laughs> discount airline that styles itself as the Ryanair of Eastern Europe. Its name is the butt of jokes in the airline industry. Whiz. But its low fares <laughs> and frequent that? flights out of London have put it on the map. How about Bingo Airways? The Polish line started flying charters last year to the Mediterranean, including Greece, Turkey, and Israel. I really hope there's not an accident of some sort. What about that, that happy big face? I like, I like the happy face. You know, a fiery crash with a big smile on the front? No. no. How about Song and Ted? The duo of discount airlines within airlines. It was launched by Delta and United to fight back at JetBlue, but it failed to catch on with the public, even though Song had apple martinis on board and Ted had teddy bears. Nice try. This is Gandalf Airlines, a short-lived regional airline based in Italy. It went under in 2003, long before the Lord of the Rings could have given it a little bit of boost. Gandalf Airlines. Mm -hmm. Vanilla Air out of Japan. The airline's president said he picked the name because, quote, everyone likes vanilla. <laughs> well, that's great, but I don't. And vanilla don't also like has vanilla? another meaning. It means boring. Oh. <sighs> Happy Air, based in Thailand. Financially, it has run into some unhappy times. Hooters Air. Now, uh, that's a name. You know, oh. the restaurant chain flew for three years, serving 15 cities at its peak. Hooters girls were the flight attendants. It folded in 2006, and some people are still <laughs> trying to get over that. One YouTube user with the handle HockeyMan1119 even made this tribute video to Hooters Air. Yeah, in the video description, he is begging for support to get Hooters Air back up and running. Hmm. Such a sad story with Hockey Man 1119. He misses his airline. Hmm. And there's one other one, Robin Hood Aviation, which I've got pulled up here. That was based in Austria, tiny flight of turboprops, uh, but that only lasted a few years. What would so, they do, make the first class passengers go sit in the back and let the back passengers <laughs> sit up front and rob from the rich and uh, give to the poor. But Something like that, yeah. I'm sure. Here's I'm the sure. thing, Jeff. It's not just one person that comes up with this idea. You have a boardroom full of people, right, that make these decisions. So Co several collectively, it was good. there is a, a group of people that in thought a it was a good idea that says, yeah, great idea. Man. You know, this is a great idea. Vanilla. Everyone yeah, likes vanilla. It. The happy face on the front. Let's do that. Oh, well, that one is still in operation. So, thank I like, you, I Jeff. Like still that working. One. Yeah.